fantastic start to your national FBLA PBL week. This is Taylor Barr, your FBLA national parliamentarian from Kansas. And tonight, myself, three other FBLA national officers, and a representative from the March of Dimes are going to teach you a little bit more about the outstanding partnership between the March of Dimes and FBLA PBL. Joining us tonight as the March of Dimes representative is Meredith Repic from South Carolina. Your FBLA national president, Max Mitchell from Florida, your FBLA national secretary, Bruna Tavares from Illinois, and your FBLA national treasurer, Tyler Thomas from Ohio, are all going to teach you a little bit more about this outstanding partnership. Now that we're done with our introductions, I'll pass it on to Max Mitchell, your FBLA national president. Thank you, Taylor. The mission of the March of Dimes is to improve the health of all babies by preventing birth defects, infant mortality, and premature birth. They carry out their mission through advocacy, education, research, and programs. Through their mission, the March of Dimes is able to lead the fight for the health of all moms and babies. FBLA PBL has supported the mission of the March of Dimes for the past 48 years, and each year, FBLA ranks as the top youth fundraiser for the March of Dimes, raising nearly $500,000 a year to support the mission of the March of Dimes. Following decades of leadership and expertise in maternal health, maternal and infant health, the March of Dimes is uniquely qualified as an industry convener and collaborator to initiate a productive dialogue for mothers. March of Dimes uses advocacy, education, and research to combat the social and structural barriers that prevent mothers from getting the care they need. The March of Dimes is the only nonprofit organization that stays with moms and babies throughout the entire pregnancy experience and beyond. I'm now I'm going to hand it over to Tyler Thomas to talk more about the March of Dimes and their mission. The March of Dimes is working towards leveling the playing field so that all moms and babies have a fighting chance. When a society supports every family, the future is brighter for all. And when all communities come together, even the toughest problems can be solved. The March of Dimes has been the leader for na nationwide for advocating for mothers and babies. In 2017, health and education, can, excuse me, health education and empowerment has helped 181,000 families. The March of Dimes has over 200 scientists at major research facilities with 300 published articles and presentations. The March of Dimes is actively working towards giving moms and babies a fighting chance in our state and federal legislatures with 186 legislative wins for moms and babies in 2017. And now I turn it over to your national parliamentarian, Taylor. Thank you, Tyler. Did you know that if the U.S. preterm birth rate had not increased from 2015 to 2016, approximately 8,000 fewer babies would have been born preterm and more than 400 million in medical and societal costs could have been avoided. In addition, the March of Dimes advocates for policies that prioritize the health of moms and babies, supports moms through every stage of the pregnancy journey, even when everything doesn't go according to plan, educates medical professionals to make sure moms and babies get the best possible care nationwide, unites local communities across the nation through programs and events, partners with organizations and committees and companies committed to helping moms and their families, and last but not least, funds scientific research at our prematurity research centers to improve the health of moms and babies. Now I'll pass it on to Meredith Repic. Hello, thank you all for joining us this afternoon. I'm super excited to be with you um, and all of our members of FBLA. So we want to kick off our March for Babies season um, and get you guys all signed up and started. So you do have your own vanity URL at marchforbabies.org backslash FBLA-PBL where you can sign up um, and get your team started today. We want you to register your group to participate in the best love walking event in the country to help us raise critical funds for our mission, for our mission as Taylor and Max and Tyler mentioned earlier. We will really strongly encourage you to get 10 friends to sign up with you on your team as well. So now I'm going to share with you the official National March for Babies video. 
March of Dimes, it is such a great organization, has helped our family so much. I'm able to look at how far we've come and all of the obstacles that he's overcome so far and to keep looking ahead. Don't give up now because we've come so far. have someone that's fighting to be here so you have to continue to fight for that child because that child needs you just as much as you need him. He was in the NICU at the time of our very first walk and him not being present and going through that process just thinking about him, thinking about are we going to overcome this? March of Dimes fights for the health of all moms and babies. We're advocating for policies to protect them. We're working to radically improve the health care they receive. We're pioneering research to find solutions. We're empowering families with the knowledge and tools to have healthier pregnancies. By uniting communities, we're building a brighter future for us all. March for Babies brings together communities in support of our life-saving work. At March for Babies, we hope, remember, and celebrate together and make the March of Dimes mission come alive. We're celebrating his journey of being victorious and our family overcoming. From my son being able to get surfactant, to be able to help his lungs develop, to be able to breathe outside of the womb. March of Dimes helped so many families by raising awareness. It was very exciting to see him run and, and, and be a kid and given that chance and that opportunity to be able to just enjoy um, his childhood. That whole journey has come full circle and it's just it's such a celebratory moment. Um, and then we also need you guys to decide who's going to be your team captain. We want someone that's really passionate about the March of Dimes. Um, and the mission. You also need to recruit the rest of your team. It can include family, friends, classmates, other members from your chapters. And we need you to raise funds and find the local walk for you guys to participate in. And now I'll hand it back over to Meredith who will talk about the Circle of Champions. Great, thank you so much. So the Circle of Champions is our thousand dollar club. Um, and it's a great way for you to get involved with the Circle of Champions. You are recognized at the day of the walk. And it really can be as simple as 10 friends asking them each for $100. So that may seem a little unapproachable for some of you, because I do know that you're high school um, and college students. So I do want to launch another thing. We're very excited at the March of Dimes that we are celebrating our 80th birthday this year. We were founded in 1938 by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and uh, we're celebrating 80 years this year. So I am going to challenge my FDLA friends on the call um in all of our chapters across the country to try to do our 80 our 80 challenge ask four friends for 20 dollars or ask eight friends for 10 dollars we know that the more people we can get involved the better impact we're going to have on moms and babies across the country so i hope that you'll take on the 80 dollars challenge with us and um help us spread the word about the march of dimes so taylor i'm going to wrap it back to you now oh, okay so um, all of you need to look at the volunteer opportunities available at the March of Dimes, of course. And if your club wants to volunteer, email events at marchofdimes.org. And also look for the new logo because the March of Dimes did get a new logo. And all the new materials are for, for 2018. Uh, feel free to share those. And use the hashtag March for Babies, FBLA, FBLA PBL Week and share it on your social media. With that, I'll turn it back over to uh, Meredith, and we're going to have a question and answer session with all the national officers and Meredith, and you guys can feel free to send any questions you may have. Great. Thank you, Taylor. So we do want to open it up now for any questions that you may have. Um, if you're not familiar with Zoom, you can use the chat box um, to send questions in, and we're kind of monitoring that. But this is really an opportunity for you to ask questions and um, help us get you guys started. So who is gonna be our first question? Is 
Don't be shy. I know it's late in the afternoon. Okay, we got one question. What is your number one fundraising tip? Great question. So um, one of the best fundraising tips that I personally have, and I personally do raise $1,000 each year, is to utilize your network. And when I say utilize your network, your family and friends are your network. So if you go, how many Twitter followers do you have? How many friends on Facebook do you have? How many connections on Snapchat do you have? So those are your, that's your, your network. So utilize your network, even if it's asking them for a dollar each. If you look at the number of friends and family and um, followers you have, I'm sure that's pretty simple. So I utilize the, uh, I strongly encourage you to utilizing the online fundraising tool, marchforbabies.org. You'll get your own individual personalized link. And with that personalized link, I share it on my Facebook page, on my um, Instagram page, and that's how I get most of the donations um, that I collect. The other thing I will say is don't ever forget snail mail because some people do snail mail. So um, I also send a letter to all of my Christmas card lists, the people that I send Christmas cards to. Um, you're probably not sending Christmas cards in high school. I understand that. But if you do have a list of people um, that you have names and addresses for, sending them a letter and asking them for a donation is also a great way um, to collect donations. Great question. So the next question we have are, what are some unique ways state chapters can contribute to the March of Dimes at their state conference? So I think that's a great question. Um, I attend the state conference in South Carolina and have for many years, so I can share with you um, what they've done has been pretty successful. They do a Blue Jeans for Babies dance on um, one night of their conference, and so the students pay $5 and they go to this Blue Jeans for Babies dance. Um, I know that there's other ideas out there that you guys um, have done, so I think that's the first one that comes to mind. Some have done mini March for Babies events as we've done at the National Conference. I think that's great too, where you just get a small walk route around the hotel that you're having the conference at and you can have people pay $5 and walk around um, the hotel. So I hope I answered that. Unique ways state chapters can contribute. Okay, uh, we've got another question. Meredith, how did you get involved in the March of Dimes? Oh, great question. So. I've been with the March of Dimes for um, 19 years, <coughs> 19 years. I started out working actually um, for Cigna Healthcare and I was the team captain for our March of Dimes um, team that my company uh, participated in. So I was the team captain. I identified team leaders from each of the departments. We had a small committee. We challenged each department on how many people they could get involved to help raise money and awareness. And um, the girls at the March of Dimes called me and said, there's a job open. I think you need to apply for it. So, um, and I've been here ever since. So it's been um, an amazing career and a, a great feeling to know that you're giving back um, in the community every day that you work. Great question. All right, do we have any other questions from anybody on the call? I will say this please utilize the website. The website has, we have put everything that you've always wanted on there and it's really easy to get to and access. So I strongly encourage you to do that. Um, the other piece is that um, you will find on the website that there's lots of different photos that you can use to customize things. So I would strongly encourage you to get your, identify, um, who in your chapter is going to be your leader and then have them sign up your team if you have not signed up before and then try to get 10 members on your team. And I think you'll find yourself very successful. We do send out weekly reports to kind of keep everybody on track. And then we look forward to seeing everybody in Baltimore to um, announce our top winners. Any other questions from the group? No? All right, I think that'll wrap us up. And I have recorded this call, so we will be sharing it with um, with you guys. So thank you all so much for your time. The March of Dimes really is proud of this partnership with FBLA and PBL. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you will do. 
um, for moms and babies, and um, we have to fight for them. There are there are smallest citizens, and without us, they will not have a, a chance. So we really thank you guys for everything that you're doing. Thank you guys. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye. -bye.